All right. Another uh, Gladiator watch cuff here from the Palooka Watch Channel. <laughs> this is uh, what we would call, at least on the label of the leather, it was uh, Water Buffalo. And I use some red thread. You can see my stitching uh, is still not perfected, but I kind of like that because it gives you the hand look saddle stitch. Sometimes when it gets too perfect, I've had people thinking that I'm using a machine. So this is a, basically it's a Seiko Samurai, but it's a no name. It does have a Seiko NH35 movement. It does have a date window. It's the Samurai case. It's a sapphire glass crystal. It's got an S on the crown. 200 meter water resistant, solid back, screw in back. I like these watches. I was I picked up a few of them specifically for these cuffs because I think they look tough on the cuff. They give you that kind of 70s vibe. I sized it for me, so there's just one hole. I've got about a 7 and 5 eighths inch wrist. I made this a little snug. Uh, I do recommend when you do one of these, you put it on a little snug because it'll stretch a hair and then it'll be perfect. I did skive down this, uh, the leather for this keeper. It's my first time using this leather. And I'll tell you, I'll demonstrate it here for you. This is an edge of it. I was kind of getting down towards the belly there. But uh, I want you to see that even when you try to put a line on this, you can't see it. I mean, you can barely make that out on there. So, you know, you make this line with your calipers here to do your stitching, uh, your punch holes. <clears throat> you can see it when I do that, but when you pick it up, you can see it kind of goes away really fast. And even when you punch the holes, you can't see them either. This water buffalo, which is pretty thick, by the way. Let me get my calipers for you. All right, let's see here. 2.9. So it's a little bit thinner than some of the bison hide I was using. 2.9. Well, I was kind of squeezing that kind of hard. Maybe it's more like a 3. Sorry, we're out of frame here. I'll get this right one of these days. If I don't try to over-squeeze it, we're at about 3 millimeter. And I like that because it gives this presence on the wrist. And it just feels good. But this stuff is so supple. It's beautiful. It's, it's really, really... I'll tell you what. If you were going to make yourself a biker jacket, I would recommend this water buffalo if you can find it. Because it would just... No abrasion show on it. This is my fingernail. Right? And then just rub it. It just goes away. If I did that on any of the other leathers, it would leave marks that you would see. So this water buffalo is pretty amazing. And again, I mentioned this in a short the other day, the pebbling on this, most of the hide looks kind of like this here. A real nice even pebbling. So I really like it. I wanted to make uh, bands for these two watches. And initially when I started making this band, I was going to do it for this. The problem is... You can see the hole here, and if you look, this just comes up too high here. I, I need to machine this case down. I need to do the same thing here. It's easier to see here because the spring bar is still on, but you can see no leather will fit in that gap there. So I need to machine that kind of flat as well. This has a seagull movement in it. This is a great great watch. I'm excited about this. I might do this to keep for myself. The loom on this is amazing. This is a quartz. It needs a battery. You might see that hand moving in here. Yeah. So the battery's bad on this. Uh, it was working when I got it, but no big deal. I'll have a new battery. And this is going to look at the dome on that. This is going to be a bitchin'. This is, this is really going to be super cool. I could even see a woman wearing this watch because it's so highly stylized. But again, this is a 200 meter diver. Quartz, really unique day date. Just want to show that off to you. Let's take this off. It's 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 finicky, right? It's first time, of course. Even when you put it on to get it in that keeper, you know you got to do this sort of thing and really kind of like force that in there, and then pull your keeper back up. But again, we'll pull this out. 
walk this out, try not to pull too hard on it. Get that to release. This is my first time doing this, believe it or not. Other than test fitting it as I was stitching it. Call me crazy, but I think that's a good looking piece there. Pretty heavy duty stitching on the keeper. Of course, it's lined with the calfskin as I always do. I did remove material here in an attempt to flatten this out more. Uh, you would never see it unless you take it apart like I'm doing right now. But I took this out on purpose a hair. I just kind of shaved that down. Did that on both sides. It helps. It helps just a bit with flattening this out. So when it's on your wrist, it's laying as flat as it can. <clears throat> Anyhow, I thought you guys might get a kick out of it. Typically, I've been getting about 500 bucks. If, uh, if you're interested, it's, that's the band with the watch. As I mentioned before, it's a decent quality watch. It's got drilled lugs. Making band changes pretty easy. It's got a solid back. Screw-in crown. 200-meter uh, water resistant. Again, sapphire crystal. Decent clicking bezel here. Uh, what's neat about it, too, is the bezel actually lines up. The loom's nothing to write home about. It's okay. I think it will, we'll, maybe I'll light it up for you and put that in the video here. Um, my fingers are a little waxy from the thread. I literally just finished this, so I'm sliding. <laughs> Should have washed my hands first. Uh, there we go. So it does line up, as you can see, which is nice. You can't say that for Seiko. The reason I, I actually bought red thread and did this band this way specifically for this watch because it has the red here on the uh, bezel insert. So I'm having fun with this. These next two watches will get done here pretty quick, hopefully, uh, now that I have material. All these would have been done if I had the leather. Uh, so now that I went out and I finally found some, uh, I'm pretty happy about it. And I have a whole half high to this, so there's going to be a lot of cool projects coming up. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day. Be good to one another. I will catch you all in the next one.